The more you pay attention, the more you realize that we're surrounded by disruptive technology. Everything from the daily commute to texting with friends to eating out is being impacted by things like artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, blockchain, cloud computing, and the list goes on. Today's audience requested ETF battle is a quadruple header between four disruptive tech ETFs right in the middle of transformative technology. So who wins the battle? Find out right after this. Welcome to ETF Battles. I'm Ron DeLegge, and it's good to see you again. We're in the midst of season four, and our team has now produced over 100 episodes of ETF Battles. Can you believe it? The audience response to this program has been off the charts. As they say in the city streets, Nuff said. If there's an ETF battle that you'd like us to do, send me your ETF ticker symbols in the comment section below or on our Twitter feed or X feed or whatever they're calling themselves these days. At ETF Guide is our handle. We can do double, triple, and quadruple headers, so make it good. Are you investing without an adequate margin of safety? Well, the margin of safety tool at ETF Guide will tell you the answer. Just visit the description section below. We've got a link there, and while you're there, you can also hit the link to our program, Judges, along with our program sponsor, Direction. Today's ETF contest was sent to us by a viewer named Dr. Phil. And for clarification, this is our Dr. Phil. This is not Oprah's Dr. Phil. And the doctor requested some financial surgery, which we're going to perform on today's show. It's a quadruple header between two Goldman Sachs ETFs, ticker symbols GIN, G-I-N-N, and GTEK, G-T-E-K, going up against COMP, K-O-M-P, from State Street Global, and DTEK from SS&C Alps. And by the way, GTEK is the only actively managed ETF in today's contest. The rest are all tied to an index. Judging today's high stakes battle is Cynthia Murphy with the ETF Think Tank and Shana Sissel with Banrian Capital. Ladies, welcome back. I missed you and it's wonderful to see you again. Hey, Ron, I'm glad to be back. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for having me. So our four battle categories are cost, exposure, strategy, performance, and mystery. For our mystery category, that's where our judges can choose any factor or thing that they think is crucial to today's contest. Our judges can also nominate wildcard ETFs if they think there's a better choice elsewhere, or they can opt for split decisions. I'll be keeping score, and at the end of the show, we will declare an overall winner. Remember, none of the battle outcomes that we ever do on this program are ever predetermined or known in advance by myself or our judges. So let's kick things off with Cynthia. The first category is cost. Please get us started. Here on this, uh, cost I think is the only easy category uh, in this uh, quadruple header because these funds are, are pretty different. But, uh, you know, KOMP from State Street Comp wins this. It costs 20 basis points in expense ratio. It's less than half of the next. Uh, you know, this is a category among these four that range from 20 to 75 basis points. So Comp is the cheapest, is the largest, has you know, over one and a half billion dollars in assets. So it wins, in my opinion, by a landslide in this category. Strong start. Thank you very much, Cynthia. Shana, you're up next. How do you see it when it comes to cost? I actually completely agree. It's not even, as Cynthia said, it's the easiest category because it's not even really a competition. It's absolutely comp. has the lowest expense ratio, the most attractive spread, uh, and it's also the largest fund. So all of those things lead to the fact that it is the cheapest. That takes us next to exposure strategy. Shana, you're still up. So break it down for us. Which of these four ETFs stands out? Well, they're all quite different, but the one that stands out the most to me is GTEC. It's actively managed and it is the most concentrated. Uh, the way that the themes are picked uh, is quite different from the rest. Um, and it, it has the most um, uh, diversification across the different um, market caps uh, and diversification uh, ge uh, geographically as well. So for me, that's the one that stands out. You're getting the most exposure. Um, it actually uh, looks to be smaller in market cap, um, actively managed, so uh, not um, 
uh, beholden to rebalancing schedules and reconstitutions. Uh, and, and just overall, for me, it's the one that I think has the most interesting exposure in the spa space. There's not any overlap, really, in the holdings of these funds, um, despite them all being disruptive. And despite the fact that overall, they kind of use the same thematic trends to, to come to their conclusions. But GTEC for me is the most different uh, and stands out to me just in terms of having the most diversification um, across market cap and geography. Uh, and it's the most concentrated, which I think sometimes in this type of strategy can be a positive thing. Yeah, that's interesting. Most concentrated, yet most diversified. You typically don't see those two words in the same sentence. Exactly. It, it, it is very unusual, but just overall, that's, I think, a reflection of the fact that uh, the active management um, is making really thoughtful decisions on how they allocate the funds. Cynthia, you're up next. How do you see it in terms of exposure strategy between these four funds? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because to Shana's point, it's fascinating how, you know, we're all consumed with the concept of investing in disruption and you already have four funds that have no overlap, pretty much. It's kind of crazy how how many ways you can interpret this theme. Uh, uh, what I think is interesting is, you know, uh, to, to Shana's point, GTAC diversified, but it has 64 holdings. Comp has over 550. So diversification here is a little bit like, you know, do you want to capture, if it, a lot of times in thematic investing, it's about the narrower you go, the more pure you have exposure to that theme. So from that, from that perspective, GTEC wins here. Uh, from the other side is, you know, it's a little bit of, you know, who's going to win the race to, to disruption? Who are going to, who's going to survive? There's a lot of small cap names here, a lot of untested companies in a way. And so, you know, do you want to have that more, you know, that smaller portfolio for a bigger punch potentially, or do you rather go much broader with over 500 holdings on something like Comp or even DTEC in this case, which is equally weighted? So then you have 100 holdings, but they're equally weighted. You're not making any single bets on any specific company. So what's fascinating here is that really, I mean, what's the best? I mean, it's really up to you. Do you want to invest in a theme and you want to go narrow and you want to go maximum punch for your dollar? You go GTEC, you get that active manager is very hands on. Or do you just want to have that disruption, you know, ticked in your portfolio box? I have exposure to that, but I'm going to go with comp. You know, I really like the Ken Show indexes uh, that uh, State Street has here. It's a really interesting concept of the new economies. And this fund uses a lot of the different spider Ken Show indexes in there. So it's... Um, I, I am struggling with picking a winner here. I kind of like comp because of that broader, fewer bets on specific names. And on the Goldman Sachs funds, GTEC versus GIN, I actually think they're complementary. One is focusing on the beneficiaries of disruption, which are like Amazon, Microsoft, Apple. The other one is focused on the disruptor. So a lot of little names, few people know a lot about. So I actually think they're complementary strategies. You may want to own both if you go that route to GIN and GTEC as complements. And then have an equally weighted portfolio, DTEC. That you know, it's uh, it's not making any clear bets one way or the other. This is a tough one. Uh, I uh, I kind of like comp. Uh, I like the cost. I like the what you get for that cost. And uh, but as a thematic, you could argue it's a little bit diluted versus GTEC. So, what is your analysis? What is your <laughs> high conviction pick? If you even have a high conviction, I was hoping you weren't going to notice that I didn't have a high conviction pick. But if I have <laughs> to pick, uh, I would I prefer comp, but only slightly. I, I agree hundred percent with Shayna that GTAC is is your more aggressive thematic play here. It's a lower conviction pick. <laughs> it's a middle conviction. Middle conviction. Okay, very good. Thank, thank you, Cynthia. That takes us next to performance. And this is where it really gets interesting. So, Cynthia, give us your analysis on performance. And I, I know some of these funds are so new that they don't really have a very long-term performance history. But what did you find? Yeah, interesting is one word for it. Crazy is another. I mean, this category is all over the place. Uh, GIN and GTAC just turned three years old. So they have very short uh, track records here. So if you look at comp and DTAC, I was trying to figure out, you know, what do you benchmark that against? So I was benchmarking against things like QQQ and a benchmarking against things like ARK, K, right? ARK, K. And uh, 
The truth is, you know, in the past three years, uh, the performance is all over the place. I think if you're looking at QQQ as your most vanilla flavor of tech disruption, you know, and talk about a sanitized flavor of that, uh, Jin actually has the closest performance on the last three years to QQQ. So I kind of like that uh, as a benchmark. Uh, otherwise, it's all over the place. I mean, from down 30 to up 50 to any given year, it's, uh, I'm curious actually to see what Shane is going to say. So I'm just going to give it to Jin for the sake of argument here because of that tracking, like closer mirroring of, of QQQ as a benchmark. But it's, again, it's, it's all over the map. Thank you, Cynthia. Shana, you're up next. How do you see it in terms of performance? So I looked at them in comparison to each other. Um, they, none of them had really a clear benchmark. And I thought to myself, all right, if I'm going to be just looking for disruptive funds and these are my four choices, I want to look at them versus each other. Uh, and for me, it's, it's a tie between GTEC and Comp. When I looked at the one month, three month, one year, three year, five year, and 10 year, and uh, quite frankly, none of them have 10 year. DTEC has the longest track record, but the worst performance, um, comparatively speaking. Um, Comp and GTEC both, um, both have periods where they do better than the, the rest, and it's pretty even. So I'm, I'm kind of stuck between those two. Um, if I had to go one way or another, I'd give it to Comp because of the consistency of its performance, whereas GTEC, while it does have some really bright spots, uh, it's a little more volatile. So I have to give it to Comp for that reason. But overall, I just thought of it as if I was going to do disruption and these were my choices, how would I choose? And for me, the more persistent, consistent, and strongest performance come from comp. Next up is our mystery battle category. This is where our judges could pick a single factor or multiple factors to make their arguments. So Shana, what is your mystery battle category and which of these ETFs wins it? So I kind of looked at the way that they do stock selection. And as we've already said, GTAC has active management. But the one that stood out for me that is my winner in this category is comp. And the reason why is if you're going to go this theme, right, you're going to do this disruptive theme, like why not go all in? And the thing that comp does that kind of is the reason I say that is that they use AI to help build their portfolios. And so if you're going to go the theme, let, let's go all in. And the one that is actually using the actual thematic uh, parts in its own portfolio construction and stock selection is comp. And I just kind of love that about it. Great points. Thank you, Shana. Cynthia, you're up next. How do you, you see it in terms of your mystery battle category? What is it and which of these ETFs wins it? Um, you know, it's a little bit of a tangent from Shana's battle category, which I love. Uh, I love the AI uh, factor here as well. I was going actually with kind of a waiting scheme for risk management uh, to our earlier point about DTAC being equally weighted 100 names. But Comp is it has different buckets because it has different indexes in there. And um, it equally weights these different buckets. And then there's a little different ovaries. It's, it's like a modified equal weight portfolio, which I really like. Uh, I think there is, uh, there's a level of diversification in terms of single stock risk there. And there is also some tilting towards names that are you know, really important in the disruption space. So I love that it's not a market cap weighted. It's not a, the bigger one wins. Um, you can lag sometimes uh, in performance when the market has really strong leadership in just five stocks uh, like we've seen a lot this year. But uh, I, I like comp for this kind of modified equal weighted approach because it diversifies a theme that's really kind of a risky theme. I mean, we talked earlier about the disruption theme is who's going to survive, who's going to lead. It's, it's a little bit the wild west of, of companies. So I, I like a little bit of a more risk managed approach that comp offers. We're going to give our judges a final chance to weigh in with their overall winner. And thus far, I've been blown away by the analysis. So, Cynthia, give us your overall battle winner. Which of these ETFs wins today's contest? 
So, you know, overall, if I had to pick one of these funds, I I would pick Comp uh, for all the reasons we talked about. I think is well diversified, is well built, it's uh, well balanced. I like the Kensho indexes; they are very solid. I like their methodology. Uh, the A- AI component is a bonus there. It's cheap. It trades well. Uh, so great execution. And uh, it gives you exposure to disruption that is not going to keep you up at night because it's not making any crazy bets on a single stock. So my favorite one here is Comp. Shana, your final chance to weigh in with your overall winner. Give it to us. I agree with Cynthia. My winner is Comp as well. I did think about GTEC for a second. I like that it's actively managed. I think actively managed funds get a bad rap. Uh, and uh, people automatically think you should always go passive. Um, I have noticed when we do these battles that the actively managed funds actually hold up great, and uh, they're never usually at the bottom. Uh, so, you know, GTEC for a moment I thought about, but Comp to me has the most exposure across the themes. I love that it has the AI component. It has the most pr- consistent least volatile performance, and it's the most diversified um, just in general um, versus some of the others. So for me, it is comp. Uh, I agree with Cynthia 100%. Well, our judges have spoken, and according to my final battle scorecard, today's winner is comp. In today's hotly contested quadruple header, our judges made some awesome points. They liked comp. On ter- in terms of cost, they agreed in that category. They also agreed in the mystery battle category. And then the overall battle winner, they liked comp because of it, its fact that it uses AI, which, uh, which is one of the most uh, disruptive technologies of our era. It's also the least volatile in terms of its historical performance. And then the point made by our judges is this is a very risky theme. And so if you're going to invest in a risky theme, well, you want to a strategy and a, a, an investment uh, that is going to to hold up and um, execute in terms of stock selection. And in this case, Comp has a, a diversified portfolio, and it was the one that uh, did win today's battle. It was a hotly contested battle. I did not expect it to go down like this, but our judges, again, broke it down Shana and Cynthia, great job with today's timely insights and today's disruptive tech ETF bash. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us, Ron. Be sure to visit the description section below. We got research links to our judges. And while you're there, check out the link to our program sponsor, Direction. I'm Ron DeLegge. Thanks for watching ETF Battles. We'll see you on the next show. 